something real special today. I'm gonna do a nice pan seared salmon with some green beans and fresh vegetables. It's gonna be amazing. It's not difficult to do. So let's have fun. Number one thing about cooking is for me to have fun. Got my nice hot soapy water with a little touch of bleach in it and my dish liquid. Always keep your hands clean, keep your area around you clean, no cross contamination. So let's get started. What we're gonna do first Got some nice eggplant here. Remember I told you about your safety with your knife. Cut that skin off. There's so many different uh, areas of your knife when you're using it. Your front, your middle, and your back. Your back is always for the hard cutting. Your front is for nice shapes. Nice shapes. Take your time, take your time, take your time. So we're gonna use this eggplant today, like croutons. It's gonna be very low in carbs. But it's gonna be really good. I got our own tea. Okay. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, subscribing, liking, sharing, really appreciate it, I saw so many people cooking the wings that we did last week, it was amazing, it really was fun, really exciting, the response was great, so you're coming nice little cubes, nice little cubes, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy, Just nice little cubes. The response, the phone calls I've been getting lately have been awesome. The support, I love you guys. Appreciate you. Okay. So I got my grease already hot. All it is is just plain eggplant. That's all it is. Pop them in there real carefully. You don't want them to splash up at you. Just drop them in real carefully. When you drop them in, just move away. That's all. Just drop, move away. Drop, move away. Drop, move away. There you go. Just like that. Drop, move away. Drop, move away. So, what you do is move them around a little bit. Let them do its thing. I also want to do something else too with this. I like those nice crispy onions on the top of this. It's going to be nice. I take the first layer of skin off the onion more manageable. That first layer of skin, second layer of skin is very, very slick. A lot of times you can be cut like that. So make sure you pull back that layer of skin on your onion and you should have no problem. One of my tips right there for the day. Go. going to do, or I told you, hold your product like so, nice thin onion rings, let your knife do the work, 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 
Very simple. Not to overdo it. Oh yeah. You want to get these crispy. You want them to have a little crispy uh, crunch to it. This would be a great, great, great dinner for Valentine's Day. Fellas, you need to subscribe to this. Woman calls you and tells you she had a bad day at work. Okay, do something about that. Take a hot bath, waiting for her. Hmm? Take your time. And do it right. So, now I have in here a little bit of fried chicken. This fried chicken is what I use for my uh, fish and chips, and it's still good for your, uh, for your onion rings as well. So these be nice and crispy. That's what I tell you. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Don't be afraid to try things. Don't be afraid to jump off the box. Try some new and exciting things. That's what this class is all about. What's different? What's new? What's exciting? These are looking really good. Really good. I want a nice little color to them. Let them go a little bit longer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're gonna see in a second. See a nice 10, 15 minutes. Be good for cooking for these. This is a nice toss. You want a nice little coat on them. You don't want to have to you don't create just nice little coat. A little dust on them. You're good to go. Would you guys to hit me up when you're looking for your aprons, looking for your coffee mugs? We got you. Let's cook together. Let's dress the light. Let's get them aprons dirty. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're working on a few things too. I'm going to do a nice mommy and daughter cooking class coming up soon. You guys will be a part of it. Gonna do some baking, some cakes coming up. I got the best carrot cake. You wanna love it. You wanna love it. Trust me, you wanna love it. Okay. Oh yeah, this is looking crazy. This is looking crazy. One of the things about this show, which is different from most shows, I'm not just showing you one or two little clips. I'm showing you product from start to finish. So none of this, this is how it looks and I pull out something I've never already done. I want you to walk you right through step by step. That's how you learn how to cook. I'm giving you all my secrets from my years in the restaurant business. Been fortunate and blessed to cook all over the world. Oh, that's looking really nice. Real nice. Real nice. Okay. Get that ready. Well, like I said, it's just taut. Don't put nothing on it. No salt, pepper yet. We will later. Just want to get it nice and coated. So everything has a little bit of dust on it. This is actually what you use on your, on your steaks. You know how you have a nice juicy steak with the garlic and everything. You put the onions on top. Same exact thing. I want you guys to cook at home. I want you to do stuff yourself. This thing is about staying home with your family, sitting down and having a good time. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Taking them out. Put them out a little bit of paper. Just to catch the excess grease. time to hit something with a little salt and pepper it's fresh out the grease because it's gonna stick on a little bit oh don't play too much man. don't play too much oh, 
Okay. Now we're going to drop this in here. Now the thing with these is a little different than the other stuff. You cannot drop one at a time. Because they're going to start cooking instantaneously. As soon as you drop them, it's going to start cooking. And I like the color. I want that color to be exactly the same all the way through. So this is when you have to be careful when you're dropping them into the grease, okay? Give them a little shake off. You don't want to kill your grease. Simple. Slightly drop and move away. If you start being scared, and you go all over the place. Give it a couple little taps, that's all. A couple little taps to break it up so it can evenly cook all the way through. Oh, it's going to be nice. Mm -hmm. that nice. After doing that, we're going to get our... Mm. Yeah, these cook real fast, so... I want you to baby it a little bit. This is very important. It's going to be a garnish on top. So I want it to look really, really nice and golden. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's coming together. Looking good. Like I said, when you say that love, put love in your food, it's about taking your time. It's about the process. Walking it through. That word convenient and fast food. Fast food. Oh, yeah. I live right next door to a wonderful church, so that nice, wonderful... Uh, bell you're hearing in the background, let me know God's watching me. Let me know God's with me. All we need a little bit of salt right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Turn the fire off. Get your mind right. Okay, here we go. So, now what I want to do, I'm going to get this salmon ready. I'm going to show you something with the salmon. Salmon is the fish that will take on whatever season you put on it. And I never recommend too much season, especially on the salmon. And I never rinse my salmon off. So if it's a little fishy, it's okay. Salmon has a lot of protein in it, a lot of fat in it. So what I like to do is give it a nice cut on the bias. A nice cut on the bias. And the bias means on an angle. So I move my fish on an angle, Remember I told you about the cut. Always follow through on your cut. Always follow through on your cut. You want your fish to be approximately around the same size. All the way through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I don't need to go to no butcher. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Remember I told you about your knives, too. Keep your knives clean, but also never leave your knife in the sink. My knives are extremely, extremely sharp. You leave a knife in the sink, you forget it's in there. You go digging around for something and cut your finger off. Okay, so 
Now I'm gonna get my pan nice and hot. Remember I told you about my saute pants? I've had these pants for so, so, so long. Probably about 15 years. Take care of your product. Take care of your supplies. Take care of your tools. Nice, nice, nice. It's a little bit of oil. That's all you need. A little bit of oil. Now, when you're pan searing something, whether it be your steak, whether it be your fish, whether it be your scallops, whatever you're doing, that pan has to be screaming hot. Screaming hot. Almost like if you're doing a uh, stir fry type. Let me bring it over so you can see a little better. Now, when you're seasoning, the salmon, very simple. A little salt. Oven down a little bit. I'm gonna finish it in the oven. Because once that uh, nice crust gets on that salmon, you don't want to burn it. So my oven's gone to 350. Pan's getting nice and hot. Like I told you before, uh, a little oil, a little bit of butter helps keep that golden crisp around it. If you go back to one of my previous videos with the pancakes, go back to those pancakes and see how crispy those edges are. That's what you're looking for. Well, that's getting nice and hot as my oven's heating up. A little bit of salt on there. I'm also going to put a little bit of pepper. Salt and pepper is the only season that you need for your fish. Anything else a little bit much. Unless you're, unless you're poaching it, unless you're, you know, uh, going outside with it, you're going to smoke it, something like that. It's a different, different story. To smoke it, you really don't need nothing on it. But remember that you don't want to overdo your food. You don't want to overdo it. Oh yeah, she's getting right. She's getting right. Talk to your food. Always talk to my food. You good? You ready to dance? Okay. She ready. A bit of butter. Oh yeah. There you go. Showtime. It's showtime, y'all. Slide her right in. Slide it right in. Slide it right in. And pull that fat off. Put it over. Put it nice and crispy. There you go. Nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. Nice, nice, nice. Don't be scared of it. Get them in there. Get them in that pan. There you go. Like that. I like the skin on. The skin about to get like. Nice little crispy pieces of almost like bacon. And it cooks really fast. You do not have to overdo it. You're going to see the inside getting a little bit crispy. As it starts to get crispy on the sides, you know it's not what it's supposed to do. I'll give it a few more minutes. I'm going to pop it in the oven. Everything's looking really good. You don't want to flip it over. You want it to stay. You want it to get that color. You want that nice, crispy charge. And trust me, it's not going to be overdone. A lot of times you either you overdo your salmon or you don't cook it enough. Let it work. Let it do its thing. I'm going to take a peek. See how it looks. You can see on the edges starting to come in. It's starting to get in there. That butter is going to give it a nice flavor, a nice coat. Let it do its thing. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Oven's warming up. You're going right in the oven. This is the important thing like I told you before about having pans with metal, not plastic. That cheap plastic pans, can't do nothing with it. 
break, they fall. It's over. Just have it going right there. Remember what I told you about seasoning your food as soon as you get it. Clean it, season it, put it away. Guess what? Next time I'm hungry, pull out the freezer, it's ready to go. Don't worry about what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it. Already seasoned, already ready to go. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Good. So, next thing we're going to do now, get these green beans ready to go. Pan warming up. Once again, a little bit of oil. We're cooking a whole meal with basically just salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic. And that's it. And these, you want it to be crispy. If you want it, vultured, crispy green beans, you're about can. Keep it fresh, keep it ready to go. Now you're going to do the nice little sauce. Let them touch some of the fire. The color will start to change a little bit. It's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. The salt. The pepper. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it right here. You can smell it. You, can, you know what is funny? I stopped tasting my food a long time ago. The look and the smell will tell you you're doing the right thing. There's nothing wrong with tasting though. Let that do its thing. When that salmon is going. Good, I can smell that. Give me a little sippy sip here. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let us do his thing. Well, a little color on it, a little lightly healthy color on it. You want to add the garlic. Two teaspoons of garlic to more than that. More than that. When your garlic will burn if you don't babysit it. So when you grab that garlic, you gotta get ready. Get ready to dip. Got the garlic. Two light chunks of butter. And you're almost on your way home. You're almost on your way home. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you see that? It's not difficult, it's not difficult. Very simple, very easy. Oh yeah. So let that rest for a few minutes. Exactly where I want it to be. Looking good, smelling good, got a nice golden look on that, on that garlic. Take a little peek at it, it's right there. That's it. A nice golden garlic, a nice rich green from the beans. That's it. Sam is doing well. Oh yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there with that Sam, we're getting there. We're gonna plate in a few minutes.
my wonderful wife had a long day at work. So I'm gonna make her a nice pan seared salmon. She's hot. Nice pan seared salmon. Guys, this is this is a great dish for Valentine's Day. It's a great simple, quick, fast dish for a birthday. It's a great dish for any occasion. Especially if you're in the doghouse. Let me show them this stuff. Huh? Play, play too much. Oh yeah. He's ready to go. So Tomatoes, you gotta put them in last. If you put them in too soon, they'll work to, work to fall apart. And make sure you put them in last, you make sure you just give them a quick toss, and you're out of there. Okay? Let's go in a minute. Looking good. Get about ready to dance. Hit me again with the flame. That warm up for a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. And the tomatoes. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I'm gonna help y'all out, man. Oh, listen, I hit it, man. It's almost like a hot salad. Oh yeah. Remember what I told you, you don't have to overdo it. The tomatoes are just to get warm. Put a nice little golden kick to it. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. She's ready to put it. Salmon's almost done. My wife didn't really like green beans until I made them for this way. You don't have to be no world-renowned chef. You just have to be able to try. You have to be able to take your time and try. Once you try, it's over. So place these around the plate a little bit so that color will bounce for you. Keep your plate clean because you know they talk about you in the streets. They'll talk about you in the streets, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The same as calling me. She's calling me. She's calling me. Put a little Parmesan cheese on top of there, too. So, now we're going to take our eggplant. Do the same thing. Just put them around. Almost like a garnish. Oh yeah, this is this is very simple. One of the most important things with cooking with me is to follow through. Make sure you work. Make sure you do your prep work. Make sure you're prepared. You're ready. If you don't. It's going to be a mess. It is going to be a mess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll tell you something. This is what I'm talking about. A little more fire. More fire! More fire! A little bit of lemon juice over there. Mmm. Mmm. You know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to act up today. I'm going to act up a little bit today. 
a little bit of white wine. Just a little bit of white wine for a little taste, a little taste, that's all. A little crazy, a little taste, a little taste. And we're actually ready to go. This is it. It's showtime. Turn the fire off. Now you want to be very careful whether you want to get in there. Oh, yeah. Make sure she's talking to you. Okay, there you go. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Come on, y'all. I think I'm playing around. I'm trying to give you something here. I think I'm playing. Now don't forget, we got our onions. Oh yeah, we're getting it. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Green onions on top for garnish. Top garnish. You want to throw a little bit around? You can. No problem. No problem. You don't want no problems here. You don't want no problems here. Put the parmesan on them. I'm telling you, this is all it takes. It's taking your time, preparing your food. A little bit of love. That's what it's all about. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy this meal. I love you. I appreciate you. Subscribe. Like. Let's eat.